Uh, I'm Simon Gladstone. I'm technical manager at SSE. So I have the uh, privilege of looking after all the digital systems, uh, looking after software, hardware, um, anything technical really that's going out on the road. We first uh, started off with light processing probably nearly eight years ago, something like that. Um, and we've been using it ever since, so that went from the contours uh, through to the Dolby's and now thankfully the LM's have carried on the legacy. Absolutely, yeah, I mean they're in a league of their own. There's Number one, there's the sound quality, um, but then there's the, the flexibility of the product. Um, also to have such a good graphical interface, you know, is a really good selling point and to be intuitive to the users. One of the best things we, we like about the Lakes is the fact that it's so modular, so we can piece together a system using various different processors. Um, if we need more outputs on one side, we can add a different unit. And linking them all together with Dante just gives us the added flexibility. We use the Dolby as the DLPs, and obviously they were really popular. Um, they appeared on everyone's riders, and then when, when it became apparent that they might not continue, that was a big downfall, really. And then the fact that the LMs have come out and, as I said, carried on the legacy, that's a great thing for us, so it means we can carry on doing what we've been doing. Also, engineers and system techs are used to the um, software to control them. Purely, I mean, the fact that we've got the Mesa modes on there um, compared to just the, the contour modules and the fact that we've got the eight input routers just gives us loads of flexibility and it fills in the gaps where we've had limitations in the system before and now we can just do pretty much anything we want to do and as I say if we need to link units together we can do that and just give us even more flexibility. There's different sizes of systems obviously all the time for festivals we need as many inputs and outputs as possible especially when we're having guest desks, uh, two house desks and a playback desk. Um, currently we're having to go through a Dolby uh, just to provide the routing flexibility with the 44 and the 26, we'll be able to do all that without the Dolby and just tidy up the whole network really. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that we've been trying to do for a long time with digital desks and digital amplifiers now as well is try and retain that digital uh, signal path in the di digital domain. Um, it's something we've touched on with the Dolby that we've not really been able to do. But now we can distribute LM processors wherever we want, uh, stage or front of house, just link them together with Dante. Um, and in doing that, we're reducing the 100 metres of copper that we've previously had going from front of house to stage. And the, the signal quality is so much better, so much more HF presence in the signal. Yeah, at download, I mean, it's been it's the best I've ever heard the PA sound. Um, people that are used to hearing the K1 system switched it on and you know noticed a, a difference in the in the sound and it was all uh, you know a good improvement um, mainly in the HF obviously because you're not getting that loss with the copper but also in the low end as well there's more clarity and overall it was just sonically better I mean it is the number one processor platform out there really it's, it is in a league of its own and it's what every serious engineer and tech expects to see and especially when they turn up and see it all there you know they're happy to use the system